What's the deal with airplane peanuts? From the most unhinged moment ever on Kill Tony. No! Put that away! Dude, I no. never. No! <laughs> To podcast announcing indefinite breaks. When you move to Austin, <laughs> Sal has a kid. It takes two hours to get to the studio. <laughs> We're not doing it anymore. The month of June was wild when it comes to comedy. And these are 28 of last month's funniest moments. Starting off with Theo Vaughn's impression of Jelly Roll on this past weekend with Joey Diaz. Jelly Roll, every time he wins an award, he gets up there and he's like, I, I just want to thank right now there's somebody who's stuck under a bridge there's somebody out there who's got a size 11 foot in a size 8 tennis shoe and i just want to say you can live your dreams man. every time i was a maitre d at a macaroni grill and now i'm a grammy award winning artist like sometimes it's just <laughs> Can we talk about this watch? Because I yes. saw this watch. This is what, a Casio? It's my Casio water resistant. I got it at a uh, shopping mall in Saratoga Springs when I was doing a weekend up there. 80 bucks, talked them down to 60. <laughs> Cash. Talked them down. Yeah. That's it. Boom. That guy there right there. Yep. So what? That's $30 online? <laughs> That's Are you sh me? Walmart.com. What the hell, dude? No, this one's better. That one looks plastic. This one's like good silver. Look at you lying to yourself. This what? one's no, good. No, 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 no. Find good one that's silver. 60. Sorry, Shut up, said. Ryan. Find one that's 60. This piece of sh I'll take a sh weekend up in Saratoga just to yell at Radnish again, the guy that sold it to me. That is above $33. You don't understand how cool I felt. Take 80 now nah, I'm paying 60 cash. I've, I've talked them down into paying twice for what it's worth. That mother her. Are you serious? Dude, exactly, yeah. It's like I could never do that again probably, but it, it's nice being 20 being like, yeah, I'll go to Brazil. And I got a credit card at the time, so I just put it all on a credit card. Yeah. Never paid it. <laughs> never paid it. <laughs> like, this, won't come, this won't never come back to haunt me. And I was like, <laughs> it's fine. I'm going to make so much money in real estate, I'll pay this back as soon as I get back. Dude, I love how they give out credit cards on college campuses. That's what happened to me. It's like I'm unequipped to understand the the, the realities of this. Dude, I was Did I get a free t-shirt? I was late for class, and they were. I was like, I can't. I'm late. And they were like, we'll give you free pizza. And I was like, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, they were like, okay, cool. And they took me through the steps, signed me up. And they're like 0% interest for a year. And I was like, right on. Right on. And I just, it was like, it was probably like 2,500 bucks, three grand. And I just racked it so hard. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was. You ever hear about Stan Hope's uh, thing with his mom? Mm -mm. His mom died. And so he's like, shit, we got to tell whatever the government. Yeah. And, but he goes, we don't have to tell MasterCard yet. He goes, she was buying me stuff for quite some time. <laughs> yeah. And he, I think he told on my storytelling show or another one. But I, when I saw him tell it, he was like, so today is 10 years after her death, which is also the statute of limitations on credit card fraud. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when uh, Zanies opened, he went and no one knew who he was. You know, he walked like half the room. People were like, this is horrible. You're weird. You're anti-Bible, <laughs> whatever. And the bartender there was, it was some lady and it was her first night at a comedy club bartending. And she went up to him after. She was like, that was abhorrent. That was inappropriate. That was crazy. She didn't know comedy. Yeah. So <laughs> then cut to 30 years later. He comes back to Zany's, kills, like has the, one of these magical sets, annihilates, great night. He gets off stage and she was like, she now had been seasoned with comedy. She's heard all these people over the years. And she's like, that was great. They all, they go out. He ends up f***ing her back at his or her apartment and he's over the balcony f***ing her, f***ing her. She's like, you don't remember me? You don't remember me? He's like, no, nah, I don't remember you, whatever. And now he's got her over the balcony f***ing her doggy style and he goes, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Clark needs to get a revenge body. She does. She should get big fake. She get giant tits. <laughs> the girls would be so jealous of her. They'd be so mad. <laughs> They're big fake tits and Botox. <laughs> Dude, they'd be so mad. Yeah, they'd be furious. She's wore a hotter outfit. That might be the move. She'd be the coolest athlete of all time. She got a revenge body. <laughs> she got a revenge body and said that. She quoted that in a press conference. Almost trans into like an uber feminine. Yeah. Just like voluptuous curves. She should get pregnant. That would really get him pissed. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have time for your guys' little games. I have a baby. They did. <laughs> yeah, I'm just worried about, you know, still stuff with my kid. I actually find it really fulfilling. They'd be like, fuck yeah, you bitch. Pass me the rock. Pass me the rock. I'm open. Do you think when they and I'm pregnant? Do you think in the back, like in the backstage locker area, they ever, they ever hold the rock? Or they're kind of like, snap out of it. Stop cradling the rock. Get out there and play ball, ladies. We're
Nine gazillion dollars in debt. The amount of money they've lost every year since the league started. <laughs> is it? Is it? It's got to be public information. It is. Twenty-two mil. All right. I could turn that around. Twenty-two milli. Damn. Well, that's because they're not paying the girls enough. <laughs> if you combine all women's sports into one event and have people like lapping them soccer balls the shooting basketball yeah just throw like, some balls out there let them run around <laughs> like a gym class yeah, it's a dog park dude yeah. just let them run around they go, oh they're fighting let them fight we have a surprise for you oh dude <laughs> you fuckers Yo. you fuckers why are you breaking out the gloves that's, that's pretty big I this is a, a base wanna... custom made Dude, thank you. F. Perfect. I can actually sing pretty well enough. Oh, Rare double bird barrel fruit. boy. Oh. Yo. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a double barrel guy, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't look at me. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. I feel like I'm in the Celtic tradition now, and there's fairies, and oh, it's so beautiful. Gorgeous. I gotta turn down my headphones a little. <laughs> well, it's tough. I have to play this one side, otherwise it gets yeah. kind of complicated. Do you play both? Yeah. Are you supposed to play both? Well, if you want to add an effect, let's see you get to it. I don't want you guys to fall, I don't want you to fall into a trance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It's be oh, yeah. I feel the resonance, do you? This might not be 432, though. <laughs> oh, it's 432. Is this 432? Oh, it's 432. When you play both, is it? Four? Oh, wow. It's really good. Dude. Pretty good. Yeah. He's going to keep going. Yeah. I'll keep playing for like three hours. Wow. You know? I mean, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'd, I could play that thing for hours. I don't, honestly, I don't hate it. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. I think he's really, I was shocked how good he was. Part of the joy amazing. was that I saw happiness from you and disdain. And that was, that's oh, I was just doing a bit. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, we're deep, we're deep character actors. We're actually British. Yeah. We're, from, we're from England. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah. Well, I didn't want you to feel empty handed, so we got you something oh, too. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. So they're, they'll, they'll bring it in here for you. But this way, right. you don't feel like, hey, what? Matt gets everything in there. <laughs> so you could just uh i wish i put on a better performance oh, i'm feeling nice. really terrible right here oh i see what that is yeah and that's yeah. that is uh, yo guys those damn are for you. those are those are yours man those are 432 hertz. those are 432 <laughs> for sure this yeah. is big for me yeah that's right especially there, there's a shortage around here and this could honestly be a little bit to do with this it. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like, yeah, the, the tax thing. Because I really wanted to demonstrate this point. Here's why Shane can't okay. give you a million dollars. Why he can't just hand me a million dollars. He can't hand you he a million He can afford dollars. the taxes. Whatever you're about to say, he could also afford the taxes. Yeah, but you can't afford the taxes. I can't afford He can asking, pay my taxes. Asking him for a million dollars is actually asking for like $10 million. Because you need a million right off the bat to pay the CPA to figure out the taxes of gifting someone a million dollars. You got to pay the taxes on it, which no, is 500000 I mean, well, it's like probably 250000 Yeah. So a quarter million. And that's not an ex a business expense. I want to let me yeah. make the, let me make this clear. I want a tax free million. Yeah. So whatever that means, like I, you know, or you can just win for life. If he gives me yeah. like two grand a week for life, that's yeah. also pretty cool. It does seem a little. I'm happy for Shane, but the disparity in the amount of money he's making that seems wrong. It seems unfair. He should be making more <laughs> money than us. Well, yeah. Twice as much, I'll say. I, right, exactly. <laughs> I'll give him Twice, three times as three much. Three times. But this <laughs> level of money that he's no, no, making. No. no, no, we gotta stop it. If he got shot by like a like some by Lib a Puerto Rican comedian. Some, some, well, some Libyan guy in an airport. If, if you give me one million dollars tax free, I'll kill Shane. I don't have one million dollars tax free. Tax free. I don't have that. I can't well, do that. Well, Shane's gonna live and keep on taking I, all of our yeah, ticket sales. No, no. It's more than the ticket sale. He's got he's got his hands in other pockets now. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm sponsored. And then people by, that are rich, it's so because I see I'm sponsored it. by Hostess now. <laughs> They're giving me eight hundred billion dollars to eat a Twinkie on camera. I don't even like Twinkies. Yeah, it's like Twinkies are gay, dude. He spits it out. Yeah, yeah. They just yeah. gave me a bonus for that. He threw out the first pitch at a Phillies game. You know uh, how much they paid him for that? They paid him for it now. Five hundred million dollars. No, <laughs> <laughs> I mean it, dude. He said, "I'm not doing it unless you give me not for a penny less." Yeah, and that's nothing to him. 
but it is wild because like and then you think about like rogan like rogan is like rogan's encroaching on the amount of money that guy has made off podcasting is like this is I, this is what people make off people could catch me though if i was that rich you could catch me on a day and be like dude give me a million tax free i swear to god i'd start just giving up millions tax free if yeah. i was if i was rogan rich mm -hmm. rogan rich one one person per week would get one million dollars tax free yeah See, the thing is, I know I'll never be that because, like, I, like, I don't, like, I'm not going to be like, I don't want that. But it's also all those guys that continued working. As soon as, like, as soon as we were making, like, $5,000 a month on Come Town, I was like, I quit comedy. I'm all, I'm not doing shit. You're never going to see me. I'm like, you know, I'm like, Dude, I actually, I brought, I actually brought it with me because they gave it to you. You brought the stone with you? Oh. This is the actual stone. Oh, my God. Let's see that. Let me see that, Lewis. That's, Lewis oh, God, Lewis, it's never Lewis, been no. open. Lewis, it's no. never been open. Don't, Lewis, no. No. Put that away. Dude, I no. never opened No. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. <laughs> wow. Absolutely incredible. This is Kill Tony, everybody. We are... was... There's only one way to become the number one <laughs> live <laughs> podcast on <laughs> YouTube, and this is how you do it. This is what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 please, 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 have it. <laughs> I don't need it back, Lewis. Where's Heidi at? He's gonna need a few more. Sal, you don't want the backwash. Like <laughs> what? You didn't need to do that. Why? Nobody was expecting it, and they're gonna go I home. Just, I just want to pass his kidney stone. <laughs> That's a first. This, this kidney stone is like, wait, the game restarts again? What the? F <laughs> what is going on here? If I swallow that man's kidney stone there's gonna be a lot of people that are like you're a fucking disgusting loser piece of shit. right all right self talk right? Self -talk. right talk if i say that i did a, some sort of sleight of hand which would have been yeah, particularly high guy's... level which if you saw the way that would have been nah that's easy pr particularly good it's this big you if, looked at it shut you up like this dropped it threw it in if if i and did and drank the water as a fucking red herring if I did the sleight of hand, I figured you out. <laughs> then I'm gonna have a bunch of people being like, "Dude, he's not a real ass dude. That's not what we wanted." So I'm just gonna say, just enjoy the moment mm -hmm. for what it is. Totally. A lot of people. Here's what they did pick up. And we up believe on. you, Lewis. And this is what I will say. This is I absolutely don't. the truth. A lot of people saw me go to Sal and show him a sleight of hand sort of gesture. And this is the absolute truth. Sal was about to puke. And he said, I have to leave to me. He goes, I have to leave. Because he was losing his mind. Because he's really a germaphobe. Right. So I went, no, dude, don't worry. It was just sleight of hand. So that's what I did to him. Whether or not it's real or not, I would have done that to keep Sal. He had to leave because he's scared of germs. He's scared of germs. Oh, germs are so freaking scary. <laughs> I got to get out of here. <laughs> that Sal, <laughs> Sal's just a straight up dang accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of my first ski trips was high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was a South End poor kid, right? But the North End had this ski club. So I had some North End friends. We get where, where where Bloomfield, sorry, oh, Bloomfield okay. in, in Bloomfield. The North End okay. had a little bit more money. The South okay. End was poor. Gotcha, gotcha. I had some North End friends like we're going skiing, snowboarding, and I'm like, all right, yeah. it right. But they all hung out together. They were in the front of the bus. They put me in the back of the bus. Now I am with this other school. Okay. So they put me next to this girl who, uh, for the story, she was big. She was a bigger girl, right? She's a bigger yeah. girl, and uh, it's just me next to this bigger girl, and uh, the bus starts going. It's a whole other school, and they start hitting her classic. With spitballs, oh, like no. classic bully shit, no. and you know me. Of course, I'm an Avenger with no powers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you're gonna stand nobody up. Nobody presents you. Yeah, yeah. So I stood up and I went, "Leave this porky <laughs> alone." <laughs> <laughs> She's my bacon. She was a harder target. <laughs> She's too easy to hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I stood up. Sorry, I said, right, "I was being the dick." Nice. Oh, wow. And I swear to God, this man with no shirt, glistening, stands up and he goes, I'm being the dick. Wow. And I went, fuck, this guy was bigger than me. He was huge. He yeah. was ripped. 
And I went, all right. And you said go. you were in ninth grade? How this is high school. Uh, Somewhere in high 11, school. 12, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So okay. I held the two side railings of the thing. He comes at me. I lifted myself up. <laughs> I kicked him with both feet. Whoa. As I kick him with both feet. It's like double dragon. He pulls my pants off. <laughs> And with one with one move, <laughs> threw them out the window. Oh, <laughs> wait, no. My pants <laughs> What the fuck? Are you What's kidding? One move. move. You fall from the <laughs> That's immediate. That's I'm insane. Four, you were hanging on to the double bar, kicking him with two feet. That is one second. You a dude. Yeah. He owned you so <laughs> hard. So quick. So oh quick. Oh, my Stop God. Stop going skiing. Now he's That's, coming at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good my happened. My wallet, my chain wallet. Oh, the whole my thing. God. Everything is out. Oh my God. Everything. <laughs> and they were Jankos, so it was very easy. <laughs> the, the, the bottoms on those things were like 60 inches. So what? he pulled them right off. <laughs> oh Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my Holy God. Yeah. Now I'm just in my Airwalk shoes and a corn T-shirt. And I'm like, and I'm on the ground, and uh, I'm all tangled up, and he's trying to hit me. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm punching him. He's punching me, and he's I'm, now his whole school has me tied down. Now I'm like, like they're holding that tie yeah, down. They're yeah, yeah. me down, and I just see him put his hand up, and I go, "This is it. I'm yeah. done. This guy's about to hit me." From the front, my friend, I hear, "Not today, motherfucker!" <laughs> my friend Taco, who is a physics teacher now, yeah. so imagine what he looked like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back then, just a hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flew through the air. I see him running up his body like look, 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 like a squirrel. Yeah, yeah. He kind of like dismantles him, takes him out. They pull us away. The teachers, they break it up. Um, I sit in my chair. I have no pants on now. Oh, the girl next to me for the day. For the day, for the weekend. For the weekend. <laughs> I had to wear snowboard pants the whole weekend oh. because I had my snowboard pants in the bag. She looks at me and she goes, um, "She because she was big, she goes, she takes her hoodie off and I put them on as pants. I, my legs went through oh. and it was a Kid Dynamite hoodie. I still remember to this yeah, day. Yeah, it was a Kid yeah. Dynamite hoodie and I hooked up with her. Not a second to her at all. Wait, but is that I was a joke? Like, you were bonded. This story is amazing. Bonded. 100% I went, I'm, this has got to happen. Of this course. story ends... With me fingering this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've hung out with black dudes and soda comes up. Pepsi. Pepsi. Always. Hold on. Let's call the blackest man in America. Who's that? Donnell Rollins. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Donnell interesting. Donnell Rollins. He can speak for the streets. That's, That's what he says. Thing. Yeah. I'm putting a lot of chips on this right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of yeah, just going. Yeah, in. yeah. Donnell. Man. <laughs> hey, Perfect. I'm doing a podcast with Stabi and I Tom. Oh, you like that vodka, don't you? Speaking Start of beverages, good. yes. And I tried to get him to do it. He said, "Nope." Yeah. <laughs> nope. I said, "Nope," like Diddy. Nope. 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 What's up, Donnell? What's going on? What up, son? Hey, hey man. Hey, I got a question. I Tom got has a question. We got a question for you. And um, you're speaking for all of black America right now. As I always do. I know. <laughs> okay. Am I right in the uh, the assumption I made? You can't say the N-word, Tom. No, no. <laughs> I know, I know. Come on, know. he's short of Hispanic. I know. I'm, I'm, Whenever I'm, I see a white man sit the way you sit, they want to use the N-word. <laughs> okay, okay. It's we'll, sh we'll shift it to this. For the most part, do black dudes prefer Pepsi over Coke? Pepsi. Wow. Wow. Told you. Let me tell you the history behind that. There's a book called The, the Pepsi Challenge. And back in like the late 40s when um, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they was the top dogs, right? Coca-Cola was murdering Pepsi. And Pepsi wanted to get more of the black community. I know this sounds crazy. So what they did was they, they, they had the same price as Coke. But they doubled the ounces. Like when Coke was giving away ten ounces, mm. um, uh, when Coke was giving away ten ounces, Pepsi would give away uh, twenty ounces. And Pepsi Cola was the first uh, big corporation to uh, put black families in a professional setting with their wow. billboards, with the marketing. Like normally, okay. when you saw a brand being represented, it was like Auntie Mama this, but they was the first <laughs> one to show black people. So do you? Like, did you guys? And do you prefer? Do you prefer? Do you prefer Pepsi? Huh? Do you prefer Pepsi? No, because I date white women, so I had to go. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's 62. Uh, how did I know that, dude? That was good. Well, that was good, right? You. 
Wow. wow. Yeah, one of the nicest guys in the world, dude. I love that guy. So fucking handsome. How did you know that? What? How did you know it was 62? Maybe doing some late night Googling. <laughs> no, no, that's not what it, I, I think yeah. what it, I think because when the night I met him, all right, so I was hosting this thing called the Asian Excellence Awards. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to the Asian Excellence Awards. Why would they use a word like excellence with excellence. Asians? The excellence awards. <laughs> of all words to use. So, yeah. <laughs> then. The Asian excellence award. <laughs> Hosted by JC Penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. The burns are Yeah. I like, I like it. All right. Times have changed. Times have changed. All right. So this you're hosting. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> So you're hosting believe Asian, it or not i believe it trust me uh, I see it. <laughs> the asian tarantino excellence. did it is he asian no, no but, but he, he likes asian I, shit kill bill and stuff uh, so he was on the show that's where I, I have a photo on instagram where i met and we have a photo together that's when i met him danny devito and then ralph Macchio was there too <laughs> none of these guys are <laughs> <fucking Asian. laughs> ralph Macchio <laughs> did asian. A through line. he did karate kid <laughs> yeah danny devito why the was he there? Because he he's short like short, you guys. Short yeah. like an Asian. <laughs> if you don't look his eyes, you're, you, he could be Asian. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think about that. Yeah, From the yeah, back, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. look at that little Korean guy running away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're on Family Feud and you're asked to do it, don't pick your family. Don't pick people that like want to do it. Pick, be strategic. Even your own, your own worst enemy, if they're gonna win it for you, you pick that person. Okay. Who failed you? I'm, I can't even get into it right now. Rank, because... rank everybody. Oh. <laughs> rank, rank, rank everybody, including yourself, <laughs> including yourself. He goes to Flavor Flav, and they do a 20 minute like, <laughs> history, <laughs> history in 1988. Him and I, you know what I mean? It, yeah. they, they, it, it just they bro history. down hard. Bro down, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 that's and crazy. in my mind, I'm like, oh, Mike's gonna be probably simple. Like he doesn't even know whatever. Uh, so he's just gonna like some generic. <laughs> he's he podcasts or whatever, right? Right, right, right? He comes up to me and he goes, "I know you." To me, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be good, right? Yeah. He goes, "Something happened to you every day for a whole summer." <laughs> what? So, so, so check it out, right? <laughs> There's a viral clip of me, Brian Callen, and Brendan Schaub when I tell them that I was molested by a guy with Down syndrome every day for a summer. You're, you're with me no, right I'm now. No, I'm not. I'm not. You're fucking with me that that's what Steve Harvey brought up. He, that's, what, uh, that's exactly what he brought up. There's Gen Z kids that don't know him as Bobby Lee, the actor or comedian, just yeah. the guy that got yeah, molested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I drive down the street, people go, Down syndrome! No, yeah, wait, I swear to God. Wait, wait, but that's what Steve Harvey brought up? Now he, you know, he turns to the audience and goes, I can't tell you more than that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah, I know. He goes, I can't tell you all more than that, but you look it up yourselves. But when I saw that, I showed my whole family, all my friends. You know what I mean? And I'm going, God, I'm going, oh, that's my intro that I was brutally molested by a guy with Down syndrome <laughs> every day for a summer, and this is a fing nightmare. Like I wanna like I go, I like, oh, I've shit. done actual movies and stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> what about your credits? Like I, no, he he had no idea. No credits. No credits. <laughs> I was I was on a national game show because I was brutally molested. Is my oh intro. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this a celebrity? What is this? What? What did the audience, they who did the they audience don't... think you were if they didn't know you then? Well, it says Bobby Lee on the thing, right? Right. Yeah, but they don't, they don't know Bobby Lee. They're like, why did they just bring a guy that's got molested? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. If they don't know who you are, then what the Steve, jo uh, Steve, Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, Steve, 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 Steve Harvey's. <laughs> Didn't explain any of your credits. What I what I thought was cute though is that the charity we were playing for was Special Olympics. Oh, so, so it kind of went hand in yeah, hand yeah, yeah. with yeah. your interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're giving back to that community. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> it's a real. <laughs> It's a real saint, right? I'm there. a real saint. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. my God. Your yes, prayer yeah. is so much more powerful. <laughs> Forgiveness. That's so funny, dude. I never do. Like, you're so intuitive, dude. Oh my God. I like it. So far, we've seen a dozen of the funniest podcast moments from the month of June. But keep watching and press subscribe because there's still plenty of great moments left in this video. By the way, I wish I was there this week. I'm not in LA. But I wish I was there because I would give them an interview. Oh, I, I go, I saw him. I was drinking with him. I was getting f***ed up with him. Yeah, we were out drinking. I told him, I said, Justin, don't get in that car. And you know what he said to me? He goes, I don't respect the laws of this country. 
He goes, because there are no laws. He goes, you know how many people cross illegally over the southern border every day? I said, no, Justin, I don't. He goes, thousands, tens of thousands of people cross right into our country over the southern border every day. We don't know who they are, where they're coming from. I go, interesting. I go, so that's your rationale? He goes, yeah. I'm just one guy driving drunk. We've got hordes of people coming, armies. I go, interesting. They go, all right, cut, cut the interview. I go, no, but I, but I was drinking with him. Like what would we would do is we'd go to my friend Edie's house. We uh-huh. would all sneak out. We would go to the park and go pool hopping at this pool near the park. Okay. And we would drink 40s and, and hang there okay. in the park in the middle of the night. And what would happen was the guys would kind of choose a few girls to go, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, hook up with in the woods. And I was usually sort of left. Mm-hmm. And I skateboarded a lot, so I liked you skaters. You skateboarded a I lot? I liked skaters. Yeah, they were fun. Wait, what's wrong with that? I don't know. I just, could you do any tricks? Could you like ollie and stuff like that? I could do an ollie, and I could sometimes do a kickflip. I wasn't that good, but I tried really hard. So, like, I would... I also just love skaters because they were fun. They were like comics. They were dry, weird, funny. Sure, fun sure. offbeat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would go and and I was. I remember I was hanging out with this skater that was kind of like left, just this shy skater. <laughs> just and you we in the just... shallow end with two forties taped to your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Don't be in there. Come back and party. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all the guys were getting laid in the woods. And then I just like, <laughs> I was sitting with him. I think we were in the middle of like a tennis court or something, like sitting on our skateboards. And I didn't know what was supposed to happen at that time. And I think he was like violently shy, you know? And then I just like, I remember just, I took off my shirt and I just like sat <laughs> the there girl on gets my to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I took off my shirt. You pull out that a... book with the boob chart? <laughs> I'm a stage three. And and buy low, guys... sell high. You get in now. Who knows? I just softly put it back on again. We like he was like <laughs> oh, Jesus really key. uncomfortable. And that was one of the dumbest moments of my life. There's nothing like taking your shot. And I was trying to do it like in the movies, like in a sexy oh, way. And he God. was kind of like <laughs> Like Faye Dunaway with that. Yeah. I think he might have wanted to have some sort of I, I think he might have wanted to be involved with my rack, but involved is the dumbest <laughs> with phrase. My ever. rack. Associated. <laughs> Associated with my tittage. <laughs> But I think that he was too shy himself and, like, not okay. So he was just, like, staring at the tennis court, and then I quietly put my you're dumb just, sweatshirt just, back on. You're just sitting there like, I checked the chart. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, what do you think? I've never heard a girl refer to her boobs as my rack. <laughs> That's some truckers say. Not a bad rack, huh? Yeah, girl's, got a, girl's got a nice set of cans on her. <laughs> You ever see Hooters like these? I'm very, you know, like with Putin, I'm so, like, have you seen his wife? She's like a ballerina, right? Yeah, she's really? hot as shit, she's obviously. Hot as shit, yeah. I mean, if she wasn't hot, that'd be crazy. It would be That would crazy. mean he chose, <laughs> out of anyone, like an unattract, but. Which is what Macron did, which yeah, is Yeah, I guess wild. that's true. Well, uh, I think Putin might have a little more power on who he chooses, you know? Well, no, Macron, I mean, you the, I mean, France isn't, I mean, that's a G7, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I guess I'm saying Russia's more fascist. He can just probably, like... Oh, you mean he just probably went to the ballet and was like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah need... it's like Saddam Hussein's yeah. wife. It's like, you know, she might not have as yeah. much choice in the matter. He didn't have to He didn't have to uh, win her over at a bar. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was a different time. But she's hot enough for me not to worry about nuclear war, which is good. She's wow. so hot... I like this. ...that you're yeah. like, well, he's not going to blow up the world. Right. Because she's fucking hot. Right. I... If she was ugly, I'd be scared. Right. She was ugly. I'd be really scared because sometimes you really want to get out of a bad yeah. marriage <laughs> any, any way possible. Get They're that. all still there in Hollywood. There's people that... <laughs> like, none of them got in trouble. No. That's the new thing. The Me Too accomplishes. Yeah. Also, I would go even further to say the people that serve up the NDA. Yeah, the yeah, The people yeah. that go, hey, I need you to sign something. And you go, <laughs> what are you doing? You know what I mean? There's a lawyer that drafted that. I know. There's a guy that's like, and if he you you won't say a thing can i say something though something i've never understood yeah and i'm not probably this is probably a wrong thing to say but we can always edit when it. they sign the nda or we can also use it against you when they <laughs> hollywood <laughs> when they sign the nda and get paid shouldn't they shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah yeah shouldn't you not say no, i'm joking I'm no joking. but, but it i is... don't understand it i mean like are they breaking a contract what? yeah well, that's, that's why there's like a lot unethical. of unethical. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> and this again, you're seeing Judaism in real time. <laughs> what? It's you just, go, but there's a contract. You sign the it's contract. Just, it's just weird that you sign the contract, yeah. get the money, and yeah. then speak out later. Well, that's <laughs> so. So you should follow that thought. Kind of, you're the bad guy. Yeah, because you a broke a contract. Yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, because at the moment. 
If someone hands me an NDA, I'm going, well, what are we getting into? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, like, you can choose not to sign that. Right. You're at the Diddy pool party. Yeah. And someone goes, hey, to go in the Diddy pool party, you have to sign this NDA. You go, I don't want to sign this. And they go, you can't come to the pool party. And you go, all right. I'll sign it. And then you leave. But it's interesting that everyone. You don't have a story. You can't get paid later <laughs> everyone, when everyone piles on Diddy. Everyone seems to have the option to sign it, get the money, and then speak out later, which is interesting. That's, That's having like, your cake <laughs> and eating it, too. Dude, it's so funny that our po- everyone, this episode has turned into anti-NDAs. We've gone from, like, all these things to being like, yeah, and you know what? Well, I think I'm f- the people that break their it's NDAs. It's just something I've never understood. I mean, I, I, I get, like, the real person the sexual predator and all yeah. that shit. The, yeah, but, uh, yeah, they're monsters. But once we get down, once we finish, resolve all that. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. The bitches broke their contracts. You're, just, <laughs> you're really doing a... That being said... Now that that... <laughs> that has to be the name of the episode. That being said... All I was thinking about is that how Jerry Seinfeld supposedly never earnestly said, what's the deal? Not once. Um, he did say, who are these people? That's funny. Who are these people, and why are they so weird? By the way, I got a beef with Jerry. I listened to the Barry Weiss episode, and he says, I'll quote Jimi Hendrix. There are many here among us who think life is but a joke, but of course everybody knows All on the Watchtower is a cover of Bob Dylan. Ah, He's quoting Bob Dylan. Good point, good point. Big fuck up. That's my one beef. And then the other beef I had I talked about before, when he's on Stern, he said there's no swears in The Godfather, but they say the N-word. That's not a swear where I come from. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Just kidding. Patreon. Is it unethical to basically get uh, more height because you lost your legs? No, I yeah. think you earned it because you lost your legs. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give you, you guys, guys the fathers. joy. We're going to give all you fathers. guys the joy of being fathers as well. Yeah. Right? So, Alex. What do you want us to do? Rake them? Number no, one. No, no. <laughs> deep second and deep third. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what we're doing. What we're going to oh, do oh, okay. is we have. Do you brought, guys both want. Or you don't want kids, right? What? No, I had a vasectomy. Yeah, you're far too old. Yeah, you don't uh, want kids. You're you're a pedophile. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean his own. Do you want kids, Mark? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Uh oh. That's why I'm here. Nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing some fishing. So we have given you guys your own little children to take care of during today. Oh come on, oh, <laughs> Ari. Ari. It's Pride Month. It is Pride Month. Mm-hmm. How fired up are you? I'm pissed. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I have some people that like I know that their whole like identity is built around like being queer. Sure. Yeah. And they're like they literally have like a day one party Where just for it. Gay just just goes I was I, I was out to and eat. And you're like you yeah. gotta be over it by now. Mm. I, right. I overheard a gay conversation at dinner the other day. It was two gay dudes sitting next yep. to me. They were just talking about how excited they were for one of their gay friends to be down here and just like literally the sentence was like and really get to have the full gay experience. Like that's I heard it and, I, <laughs> and like I I, 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 I I made like the wide eyes at my girl, like you know I, it's the funniest thing that, to me right now. <laughs> but I'm mature and we're in a restaurant and they're sitting so close. <laughs> 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 it's like, do you ever take a day off? Like, <laughs> Just be you. Yeah, the whole year yeah. you're gay. Yeah, what, what I know. If, imagine what? if you, Black History Month comes around and you're like, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> About yeah. to be black as hell. I can't wait to be black as hell. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have a parade. You, you guys have seen nothing all <laughs> year. <laughs> have you ever been to a Black History Month event? Uh. I feel like they have like cookouts and stuff, right? So, yeah. Well, but that's just nah, yeah. not, and it's in yeah. February. It's, it's <laughs> oh, also true, a first. Yeah. You're not doing cookouts. No. Nah. Yeah. I feel like a Black History Month party would be kind of like a corporate event. Yeah. <laughs> With no open yeah, bar. Yeah, there would be no yeah. black people there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just be white people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, and, or being so like the black guy yeah. there would suck. Just a bunch True. of white people being like, sorry about Thank all Thank you that. for your service. <laughs> <laughs> You know, renting a porno movie was uh, an act of almost heroism yeah. back then, you know? Yeah. It was really like you had to go in and you had to face these people, <laughs> these yeah. same people you'd be renting regular movies from, you know? Yeah. Hope your, like, next-door neighbor wasn't in the store. So I get uh, the movie Deep Throat because, you know, when you're a kid, you know, it's one of the titles that you know. And I get this movie, and um, I get home really late. It's like 11.30, midnight, something like that. 
and the whole house is dark and whatever. And my parents are upstairs asleep. I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch this movie. <laughs> and so <laughs> I put the, the movie in, you know, the VCR is like, and like, you know, I put the tape in, goes back down very slowly, whatever. I hit the, I hit play and it just kind of starts going. I have the volume on very, very low. And then I just sense something. I have just, I feel that something that is wrong and I, um, I'm on my knees in front of the television set and I turn around and I look behind me and my mom is asleep on the couch oh, in the God. living room and I have this heart stopping <laughs> moment. <gasps> and I slowly reach over and I, I hit stop. Uh, and then I have to inject the tapes. I'm like, chick, chick, ah. it sounds 25 <laughs> times louder. <laughs> Fucking terrifying. And I, I hope, and I think I know my mom will know that, yes, yeah, she must have been sleeping because she would not have hesitated to take right. it. Because, like, I, I, I got caught trying to sneak a Playboy up. Right. Oh, I had it in my back, like, you know, tucked in my... Uh, in my back, you know, the shirt over it, and all of a sudden I had real good posture going up yeah. the stairs. She's like, what's in your uh, shirt? And I was like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's embarrassing, and you lose the Playboy. It's yeah. like a double whammy. Double you bad. Know? Shouts to JJ. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, JJ is a, is a good guy. You know, we were going to play paddle all summer out in the Hamptons. We had great plans to just enjoy a nice summer of paddle. And then this f decides to go out there and get the f***ing Lakers head coaching job. Very inconsiderate of him. Very. Hmm. Very. Mm. Now I have to find a new person <laughs> to be part of the four for the paddle. Yeah. And I was ready to work this guy because he has like one fucking mozzarella string left on his Achilles. <laughs> and I was looking forward to this summer, like hitting a nice little drop volley and having that shit pop and then just standing over him. <laughs> you are horrible. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a that's a friend. <laughs> that's what friends do. Okay. I'm trying to Cameron breaks this guy. Yeah, <laughs> We, you know, we don't want to stop this, but we just have to take an indefinite hiatus to get through all this stuff and to get back to a place when we finally do come back, whenever that may be, where we can exactly where we can put into as much time and effort into the show as we want to uh, as, and as you guys deserve. So it's been so fun. It's been so amazing. The fans are so incredible. I can only speak to my own experiences, but I can't express <laughs> enough that going to Skankfest and going on the cruise, walking down 6th Street in Austin, or, you know, wherever it is, man, like where comedy fans are abundant. It's just like, it's wild. Like all of the taste buds, love that we get. And, you know, people coming out to the live, my stand up shows and yelling to Stefano is a pig. And it's, it's wild. It's so great, man. It's so great. I can't. I love that it, you're being like having a sincere moment, but Chris has this smirk on that is just <laughs> trying not to laugh at you. Yeah, I just can't. Because I mean, just the angle of this video, just fucking coming from under your chin, you looking out the window. No, trying to get like <laughs> sun soaked eyes, you trying to be serious about anything at all. You're a big dude. You moved to Austin. Sal has a kid. It takes two hours to get to the studio. We're not doing it anymore. That's what it is. I'm starting history hiatus again. The ball. I'm gonna start a podcast for the honest. I'm gonna make sure you can't yeah, do hiatus. It's, it's, yeah, it's gonna Joe's be the... back on the Jokers and Sal's. Take it off and do the second movie. We're done. I met Michael Richards at the Belly Room. He's in the Belly Room just getting back into stand-up. I walk back there, Belly Room of the Comedy Store. It's a bringer show. I'm about, I don't know, what, can you mind looking up the year that, I think it was, I want to say it was four to five you years You found in. a joke book. It just said, say N-word in it over and over and over. Well, it was my joke book. And yeah, he was yeah. like, do you mind if I borrow this? Well, then who, who'd you get that from? From me. From I learned Santee it from you, yeah. Dad. And so, so he... Started stand up two months into Wait, this. Wait, that was when he did the video. That was when the thing came out. God, that was so long Wild, ago. Wild dude, He's still can't recover from that. That's crazy, dude. No, that's so long ago. Let me ask you this: If it was just an art, if there was no video uh, proof and it was an article, mm -hmm. and it was like you know hearsay, and it was like he did this, I've been trying to rack my brain about does it have the same impact? Because then people were just like, nah. The video is so alarming. It's just so and it, hard to And it to wasn't watch. one. He, he doubled down. That's that's where my stomach goes, oh. And then he starts walking around, and the guy's screaming back, being like, that's not cool. And yeah, the guy sounds saying, like a... That's not cool. And the guy sounds like a... 
like. Uh oh, careful! <laughs> you weren't gonna do I it, just... were you? <laughs> oh Jesus, my... Adam! I mean, for comedy's sake, wow. very funny Thank if you. I had just done that <laughs> yeah. without actually. But I hey, lost I know how to read the room. <laughs> um, hey, but he, he should put a special called "Read the Room." That was my first special. It's no, on YouTube. he should call it. He should call his special "Read the Room." That's so funny. He yeah. really should. Or, oops. Mm-hmm. I want to have a podcast war with the Comedy Cellar podcast. Now this is crazy. They can't relegate us to this little. They fucking, didn't let me tell you what they corner, dude. They, they chumped did. us. They chumped Ooh. us. Like Dude, I, they chumped us. I, dude, Gnome just and SD just bent us the fuck over fuck over this stand. tiny table. Dude, three out of four no. of us worked the stand and we're being punished for it. No, wow. three, three out of four of us worked the cellar. True. He can't sit at I that I can table. work there if I wanted to <laughs> bust tables. <laughs> <laughs> I can go block, dude. I, can, they, I got a great <laughs> resume. I had them recreate the cellar table. You I mean, have the, to do that. The, yeah, you the, the do. YK, Over there. The YKWD. This is not a recreation of the YKWD no. set. This is 100%. This is the exact same table. No, it's not. Same, no, it it's is. Not. The table's right there. It's a different it's color. The, it's, yeah, the, it's darker. I mean, go f yourself. That's, that's oak. It's the same color. That's oak. Bobby, why can't you just oak. say you're being bent over by Esty? I'm, I'm not. Esty has nothing fucking... to do with the podcast. Hey, Bobby, Bobby. How many fingers am I holding? What? What happens when I curl them together and punch you in your fat face? Go sit in the corner. I know. I know. You look great. You're handsome now. Go fuck yourself. You're handsome now. You're fatter than anybody here. Bobby. 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 Have you ever had the purple in your pool? I'm a Hit you again. <laughs> Go sit in the corner. This is way better. We're all in the corner. It takes a second to get used to. I'll get used we're, to it. We're hey, right here. What I mean, did the five fingers say to this? Right here. Wow. I'm getting hit with spit in the eye. <laughs> He's funny. But if we weren't so close to each other, I wouldn't have to spit directly it's in your crazy. face. crazy. I know. That was the, the joke. The other That's table. So I know that was a joke. The other Bobby table was Bobby comes big. downstairs and he goes, Hey, uh, dudes, I'm noticing the cellar podcast studio is different. And she goes, Hey, Bobby, up here. Not up. <laughs> No, we have stuff. two different sets now. This oh, is the red. Are you mad? It's a bitch, Bobby. Are you mad? <laughs> this is good. I now hate. the bomb Dana can sit on all of our mics at once. <laughs> it's fun. This is it. This is what we started with. <laughs> like, this was the regs back in the day. You Bobby, just say it stinks. It doesn't stink. Say I love it. Stinks. it. You I like love this? that we're back. I you don't prefer like this. To, to this that. is crazy. This is mean, a tiny this, shit table. This is nice. A tiny shit table. Maybe I'll try the mic out. Yeah, it's better than that. Oh, nice. Take the mic out. Take the mic out. Remember back in the day, you take the mic out. I'm gonna hit you in the head with this. That's <laughs> what I'm you, this is great. I'm gonna Bobby. beat you this to is, death. This is the old school. No. Right here. Is this how you sold your tiny house wow, to Don? Uh, Don <laughs> sold that to me. I didn't want that. Guy, <laughs> Dad, let's fucking look at the intimacy, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do we have a tiny table? <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the episode. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> tiny table. <laughs> this is way that you're going to No, Bobby, it's, it's, it's not When better. we started this, it was all just us four. So you had at- Two alcoholics, a convict, and you were taking all the money from all the ads. It was all a dream. You're the ads. You act like it was an ad. He has a fucking company. Does it drive you crazy when you go to a restaurant where you have to, you can't sit until you order, and then they give you the number stick? And then you got to go find your table. No, because that's operational. That's for the logistics. There's, there's a like it or not. There's a reason for it. Yeah. There's a it's a it's a fa- it's a f- thing where they need to have turnaround stuff. It's not a dining in place. It's a pick up your own place, and we have tables here. I know, but the pick up your own place, like that's okay. But you go to a place, you want the service. You want to sit and have somebody come then, up. Then you don't and, go to that place. I know, but this, but it's the. I want chicken lo mein. I'm not going to the, uh, the Italian restaurant for that. Well, yeah, but I think more, I think it's creeping. I think it's creeping into more places that should have been more service, and now they're, like, scamming it. Can I give you an analogy? Only if I can give you an OCD thing before we continue. Because it's bothering me. Let me think about it. And it's distracting me. Is there something, do you feel like it's a, yes, tell me. There was a thing on the back of your chair, on the back of your chair, and it's. Yeah, well, it was a blank, because I thought we were doing, talking about a blanketed statement of, like, this all fast food restaurants are just the ones with a service. That's why we did that. Oh, that's why you did that? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. We have a blanket statement gag on the on the pod. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Um, it's okay. I think because I it bothered me thinking that 
if you don't know it and then you'd see the edit that you'd be upset. I have a montage of them which I, I, <laughs> I, I, I would put in a few times but now we've gotten some complaints because it's too long of just of every episode when we it falls off and or I say if somebody says blanket statement we pu- I push it off but it's <clears> so <throat> funny I apologize no no it's okay do you do so, solo episodes with us yeah. oh okay family style yeah nice Secrets, mm, family you style. Just did a oh, you mean with just me and him? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we do regulars with just me and him. Yeah. yeah. But mostly the the place to see just me and Jordy is on the page. Those are the best episodes. Those are the best episodes. So oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll sure, we'll just pop. ourselves. We'll just go have gay there. sex upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't promise me a good time. <laughs> I'll just go power bottom for Brandon upstairs. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny? If we finished the episode. You guys are <laughs> each other. Uh, Get out! Uh, stop! 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 <laughs> oh, he's going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who me, dude? <laughs> Is that a thing I do? I do read the comments. You, I mean, no, it's it's great. It's great. No, yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> do people say that I do that? Well, sometimes you don't always have... Now, you don't always know what you do, but I, I think it's endearing. I like it. Our first fight. <laughs> One time I watched it. He said ga- perfect. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he goes, is that me? In the exact yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. Is that what I do? <laughs> <laughs> One time I watched a gay show and the guy goes, oh, yeah, wreck it, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, homophobic. That's, that's so... Oh, oh, so can't even laugh. What, can't even name laugh at it. Children movies. <laughs> what, yeah, I feel like you're about oh, to come and they're like Wreck-It Ralph. That's so funny. Inside. Oh, uh, the In- Lion King live action. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King Two Simba's Pride. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know the name of that? <laughs> like I know some things. You know some yeah. things. Oh, I'm gonna bust Malala. <laughs> you mean Mulan? Moana. Oh, Moana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> She's like, why did you name that movie? And you're like, I was just asking. <laughs> you know, can a guy question? Can the guy question? <laughs> Are people asking that in the comments? <laughs> sorry, sorry. So we didn't even have a team when I was growing up. The Raptors came like way after I left. Sure. We were at the game and we were... We had really good seats, and we're sitting across from Nicholson. Uh huh. And my buddy got good VIP seats. And at the ha- is it the halftime at yeah. basketball? Yep. That we went to a VIP area, and Nicholson was there. And there's like a little area with food and stuff. And then there was a separate private bathroom. So, <laughs> so I go over to the bathroom area, and uh, there's a little area where you can wait. There's like two stalls, and Jack was standing there by himself eating a piece of black forest cake you know the oh yeah chocolate cake with the whipped cream and the cherries love it have you ever been to the black forest in stuttgart in southern germany i go with the white forest father (laughs) (laughs) so jack's like scarfing down his uh his black forest cake on a you know paper plate with a plastic spoon puts it down goes into the i go you're next he goes yeah i'm going in next and he he goes in and while he was in there i noticed he left his plate and his spoon but there was still a bunch of like gunk on the spoon uh, like like, like black forest like he didn't clean it off interesting and i went holy smokes what's better than an autograph but dna <laughs> <laughs> so i pocketed the spoon and i got one of those like shadow boxes you know the little boxes you can put things in like yes, metals and yes so i kept the ticket stub and the spoon with the gunk in it, and I put it, I've got it in my office, a shadow box with Jack Nicholson's DNA wow. on the, isn't that cool? Oh, might look like a stool yeah. sample yeah. Yeah. Know, over time. <laughs> no, it's still, I mean, that, you know, whipped cream, it never fades. It's That's made out true. of more chemicals than your sister's legs. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool and kind of serial killery at the same a time. Yeah, right? Yeah. But who's laughing when I make an army of Jack Nicholson's oh. when the apocalypse oh. happens? <laughs> you got the stem cells. Right? And then I'm surrounded by Jack's and anyone who wants to mess with me, you want to fuck with him, you go through me. <laughs> right? And I live, you guys get eaten alive by cannibals, whores, and sweet and sour Chinese recipe oh. makers. Well, if yeah. you got 20 Jacksy houses, you better get a lot of cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of chicks. Yeah. And a lot of porn stuff. F- yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge dong, apparently. Yeah? Who? Jack. 
Really? How do you know? I, I heard a <laughs> porn star on Howard Stern talking about banging him. No. Pull it up. Pull it out. God. <laughs> I wanted to ask you if you could help me with something because I'm a bit of an adventurer and I'm going down to the Amazon. Have you ever been to the Holy Amazon? F- yeah. Yeah, I know, but I order shit on Amazon. Well, you don't order a river. Every time you look at the f- audience, you know what you're f- thinking? What? You're thinking this guy's a f- an idiot. And I don't like that shit. How did you know? Because I see what you're doing. You're looking at the camera going, oh, look at this f- asshole. That's not f- cool, dude. He asked me to come up to your f- sanctuary. I bring my dog Buster. I wear a busted shirt. I got my green scarf. And I-, I got my f- warm Beatty glasses. And every time I go da 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 da, you're like, look at this f- idiot. That's not f- cool, dude. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for them. Yeah, I know, but they don't, they don't need to know that. I think they need to know you're a f- idiot. That's important, guy. I'm here That's to. That's true. I- I'm so sorry. That's you're right, okay. right. Okay. That's okay. Cool. okay. Okay, now. So I'm going down to the Amazon, and I'm going to. T- I want to search for pygmies. Have you ever heard of pygmies? What are you doing? I'm looking at your audience because they know you're f- asshole. I'm an asshole now. No, idiot. Sorry. No. Okay, go on for pygmies. Go on. Pygmies no. are cool. Really? Pygmies are really cool. Okay, good. I'm glad you said that because pig me ups are better. If you want to do it, oh, pick yeah, me yeah, up. Yeah. Chinese, my <laughs> man. Ow! Ah! Ah, so hepatitis really- C, psoriasis, and crab juice. What the hell's under your nails? Dude? Comedy podcasting stats from the month of June. Sal Vulcano made the most guest appearances last month, going on an incredible 22 total podcasts to promote his new special, Terrified, including the Joe Rogan Experience this past weekend, Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast, Kill Tony, Are You Garbage, Legion of Skanks, Whiskey Ginger, Tiger Belly, Stavi's World, Howie Mandel Does Stuff, You Be Trippin', Dr. Phil Live, We Might Be Drunk, KFC Radio, the Rich Eisen Show, Unfiltered, Working It Out, Out and About, Guys We Fucked, Dropouts, Life is Short with Justin Long, and The Bonfire. The top three most viewed episodes from last month starts off with Dana White on Flagrant with a whopping 3.1 million views. In a close second place is Uncle Joey Diaz on This Past Weekend with Theo Vaughn at 3 million views. And in third place is both of Kill Tony's LA Arena shows, which were uploaded to YouTube during the month of June and currently sit at at 2.5 million views apiece. The three most viewed episodes of the Joe Rogan experience from last month starts off with Billy Carson at 4.2 million views. In second place, Tony Hinchcliffe and Duncan Trussell are tied with 2.9 million views. And in third place is Tim Dillon at 2.4 million views. And last but not least, the most viewed video that we uploaded during the month of June was a full documentary on the new Kill Tony sensation, Drew Nickens and contains never before seen interview footage with Drew Nickens from over a year before he even appeared on Kill Tony. If you've already seen that video and don't feel like watching it again, feel free to check out our top five most intense moments in Taste Buds history in honor of the show announcing their hiatus. That video will also be on the end screen. And if you're like, holy shit, dude, shut up about these videos on the end screen. I get that too. Honestly, I kind of agree, but the yapping's been done, so you might as well check them out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe that joke world that's that joke world and the world is wrld that's a great uh, youtube channel joke world check it out